Hey friends, today we're hanging out at Universal Studios Orlando and Fantastic Beast: The Secrets of Dumbledore comes out today. So I thought what better place to come and watch the movie than here in the Wizarding World and maybe head over to Hogsmeade, grab ourselves a butterbeer, ride some Harry Potter rides, and then come watch the movie. Anywho, let's go do this. Normally, anytime I go to the movies, I usually go to AMC at Disney Springs, but I do like the Cinemark Theater here at Universal Studio City Walk. They have really nice recliners in there, and I feel like it is the perfect place to come see Fantastic Beast, The Secrets of Dumbledore, Return to the Magic, April 15th. I'm so excited. But before we actually sit down and watch the movie, like I said, I thought it'd be cool to come out to the Wizarding World and kind of like partake in all the Harry Potter things. I wouldn't mind getting myself a butter beer. It'd be amazing if we can ride Hagrid's and just kind of get all hyped up for the movie. I really wanted to wear my Hufflepuff robe, but I feel like it might be too hot for it today. It seems like the weather's been probably sticking around to the high 80s, and it hasn't been getting cool until much later on. But I did bring my wand, not my Hagrid wand, but I brought my other wand. We're gonna be meeting up with a friend and like I said, just kind of exploring the park. I don't know if we're just gonna stick to Hogsmeade or maybe we might park hop and go on over to Diagon Alley. Just kind of do it all. And look, oh, there's a big display right here too. Right there is my robe, my Hufflepuff robe, and it has my name embroidered on it as well. And over here at the Fantastic Beast, The Secrets of Dumbledore, see the movie now. And I like how they have some merchandise out for it too. Maybe we'll take a peek see in here and see what they got going on. I feel like I'm out of place because I'm not sporting any Hufflepuff gear and I need to represent Newt, you know? But they do have a lot of Fantastic Beast uh, merchandise here. Look, you got some shirts over here. I also like how they have a hog's head hat and some glasses too. I've never seen these before, but I like it. But also, take a look at this over here. I never knew they had autographed wands from the cast of Harry Potter. Like, look at this. Isn't that crazy? This is uh, Neville Longbottom's wand right here. And the actor himself, Matthew Lewis, signed it. It's $875, but that's really awesome. They have Ron Weasley. What? I don't know the price on that, though, but I would love that. That is so cool. Even though I'm not wearing my Hufflepuff robe, at least I still have my wand. And I have my, this is my backup wand. This is Malfoy's wand. And uh, my regular wand is Hagrid's, but I don't like to bring it out because this is so cool and I don't want it to get damaged. It's a full umbrella if you guys have ever seen Hagrid's wand. And also, I mean, I'm still in the Harry Potter spirit. Because at least I have my Hufflepuff socks on. Look at that, repping the Hufflepuff pride. And don't make fun of my old man Air Monarchs because they're very comfy in the park, so I like them a lot. We're gonna make our way into the parks now. I'm not too sure if we should start on Universal Studios side or if we should just go to Islands of Adventure and go straight back to Hogsmeade. I'm sure that we're gonna be doing other things than Harry Potter. I do like to keep a theming, but there's a lot of fun things to do here, but I'm gonna try to focus on some of the Harry Potter things. We're going to make our way into Islands of Adventure first and probably get ourselves something to eat, maybe at Three Broomsticks. I always want to start off the day by checking the wait times just so you can get a good understanding of what you might want to do in the day. So we're going to check those out first and then make our way back to Hogsmeade. Looks like it's a pretty busy day today. Uh, Skull Island is a 100 minute wait. The Seuss Trolley Train is a 60, uh, 65 minute wait. Flight of the Hippogriff was 80 minutes. Dudley Do Right, 90 minutes. Like this is very, very busy day. Hagrid's is a 150 minute wait. I don't know if we're gonna be able to get on that today. Just to give you a little bit of an idea, Flight of the Hippogriff is a 80 minute wait. And that's basically like uh, the Barnstormer. Like, it's like the Kid Coaster, and it's an 80 minute wait. And now we have officially made it over the Hogsmeade. Please respect the spell limits. We're gonna head on in and maybe check to see what the situation like is like at Three Broomsticks. Maybe we can get something to eat. Here is my friend, it's Serena Ray. And she's actually, like I said, it's her first time coming here. And are you excited? I 
am excited. Yeah? I'm scared. Well, I mean, the food can be a little adventurous, but I'm it's still scared. very delicious. And we're going to be hanging out today, vlogging, doing our thing. So make sure you check out our channel. I'll put a link in the description. And uh, it's going to be fun. It looks like there's a little bit of a wait to actually get in. Not too bad, though. I've definitely seen it busier. So we're going to hop in line. Nothing like some pre-Harry Potter themed food, or should I say pre-Wizarding World food, because you know, we're not really, I mean, we're canon to Harry Potter with Fantastic Beast, but we're 100% in the Wizarding World, but uh, yeah, I'm excited. It's time to head on in now, and I just like the overall theming of this restaurant too. It's really, really cool. It's kind of like in between uh, quick service and sit down because you pay and pick up your food and then they bring you over to a table and somebody's there to actually take care of you at a table. Like they have people that are cleaning the tables and everything like that. So it's kind of like a hybrid, but I just love being in here. It's so well themed. Here is a look at some of the food that they're offering. And of course they have the great feast. This serves up to four people and it's $69.99, but look how huge it is. You get a lot of food with it. Here is the menu right here, and it is an additional $17.99 per person if you wanna do more than a platter for four. Today, I think I'm just gonna get the chicken and ribs. $17.99, a little chicken, a little ribs, a bada bing, a bada boom. I also got myself some pumpkin juice. Uh, later on, we're gonna get a butter beer, but that's a separate thing. You can't have butter beer while you're enjoying your meal. You gotta have pumpkin juice. And Serena got uh, fish and chips. So we're gonna see some fish and chips, some chicken, some ribs, and some pumpkin juice. Once you actually order and pay, like I said, you uh, come to the number that they tell you, you pick up your food, and then you head into the uh, hall, and they're gonna give you a seat, and then somebody's gonna take care of you from there. Now we have made it to our table, and we're in very tiny chairs. Like, we're down low to the ground, but I like it. Oh, a bird just flew by me. Look at this. We're in tiny, tiny chairs. Yeah, look at. <laughs> It is really funny, but here's the food. Look at this. Here is the uh, chicken and ribs, and then potatoes and corn. And then Serena got the fish and chips, and a little lemonade, some pumpkin juice. Looks all good. First, we're gonna try the pumpkin juice. I, I really do love pumpkin juice. And uh, then later on, a little bit of a butter beer. All right, that's good. It's like drinking a pumpkin pie, actually. Trying to decide whether you like it or not. I like it, but I think I like Epcot. Uh, Epcot's fish and chips for the win. I feel like it's more crispy. Ooh, okay, good, good. Serena said that the fish and chips aren't crispy here, and she doesn't have time for soggy fish and chips. She don't got time for soggy fish and chips. That's basically what I got out of that. <laughs> soggy fish and chips. I don't have a name to tell you. I said it was soggy. Soggy I fish and chips. Oh my God. <laughs> I think I'm going to start off with the ribs. Looks like they give you three rib bones and a little bit of a quarter of a chicken there. These potatoes are phenomenal though. And I do like the corn. Overall, this is a really good meal for $17. I feel like you get a lot. We're going all in on the ribs first. Honestly, this is really good ribs. I, uh, I had them before, and I couldn't remember if I really did enjoy them, but I feel like they're just the generic Universal Studios ribs. I feel like they serve this in a lot of different places. It's really not experimental or adventurous food, unless you get something adventurous. Now, the potatoes and corn, that's another story. There's the bird right there. Look, he's coming this way. He's got some things in his mouth. Look, it's right there. He's just walking right down. Look it. Oh, oh, oh. It's gone. Now it's time to get down to the corn business. That's actually really good corn. Probably my favorite thing about this meal has to be the potatoes. And I didn't even notice, but they have a little onion with it as well. So the potatoes, the potatoes are on point. 
now we're all done with our meal it was pretty good like i said it's it's a good value meal for 17.99 a little ribs chicken potatoes and corn and i just like being in there it's like really nice and the music's good and i think we're gonna explore around a little bit more of the wizarding world gotta finish up my pumpkin juice and make some room for some butterbeer it looks like hagrid's didn't go down at all in fact it went up it is now 165 minutes, so that is almost three hours. Almost a three hour wait for Hagrid's. Mind blowing. Maybe after the movie, we might come back over to Hogsmeade, try to ride Hagrid's then. It just seems like it's overly busy here today. Like, I'm like kind of shocked. I came to the back of Three Broomsticks because I wanted to watch Velocicoaster come through. This is a great spot just to sit here and watch it come by. You know, I wouldn't mind riding that too if we could. This is a really fun ride and it usually has a lower wait time than Hagrid's because Hagrid's is just really difficult to load. But uh, we'll see Velocicoaster come through here in a second. Please do not feed the birds or other winged creatures. They should really have a sign like that inside the restaurant after we saw the, the birds basically helping themselves to people's food. I think now we're gonna take a trip inside Honey Dukes for some homemade sweets and just see what they got going on here. Maybe try to find something Fantastic Beast themed. It is really fun inside this store though and the AC is probably kicking real good. One of the things I've always wanted to do was the Birdie Bots Every Flavor Beans. And I thought it would be good if me and Serena actually tried some of them. Kind of did like a little Russian roulette because the flavors are a little bit of everything. So you got a little uh, earwax, a little vomit, a little grass, some sand, but there's also watermelon. There's sour apple. So I think it'd be fun to just kind of like Russian roulette. Are you excited? I think we're going to do it. You know, maybe we'll get a good one, maybe we'll get a bad one. <laughs> yeah, that's one. Yes, that's a flavor. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 yes, yes, that too. <laughs> All right, here we go. We're going to open up this. We're going to open up the beans here. I don't know how to open up the beans. I don't know. Are you nervous? I'm not hiding. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I thought you were hiding. Look, what are you nervous? Beware of the dirt flavored ones. The dirt flavored ones? She said beware of the dirt flavored ones. Oh my god. All right, well, do you Watch just want to grab one? Oh, earthworm? I bet the nasty ones are the colorful ones. All right, well, how about you want to do like a blindfold pick or do you just want to look and pick? I'm going to go with yellow. Go ahead, yellow. There you go. I'm going to find one that looks strange. So I'm going to go with this one. Can you smell them? I don't smell nothing. Alright, let's go. Here we go. Ready? One, two, three, go. <laughs> I'm scared. Mine's banana. Does it taste bad? Oh, it tastes like a banana. Why is there banana too? I wonder if it's all banana flavor. Maybe they tricked us. Wait, let me try another one. No, that was that's nasty. Oh. Whatever I just say. I guess you're right. I don't like it. I don't like this game. <laughs> I don't like this game now. I don't even know what mine tastes like. I looked them up. So the really bright green one was grass. And then there's the rotten egg. That's the one I had before that. And the other one was a banana. That's the banana. I did have that one. So we did pretty good. Yours was... Uh, Watermelon. Yeah, yours is watermelon. I'm not so watermelon. And the other yellow one was lemon. That did not taste like a lemon. That didn't taste like a lemon? It tastes like a banana. Huh. <laughs> now I think it's time we actually hop aboard the uh, Hogwarts Express and make it over to Diagon Alley to get the butterbeer. Gotta have some butterbeer after trying some of the weird beans. I'm gonna keep these and I'm gonna have them at my house and make sure anyone that comes over and visits has to try one. I feel like that would be a cool thing to do. Yeah! yeah. Oh, oh yes, that was fanning. <laughs> she needs a raise. Oh, thank you. 
<laughs> yes, oh, thank you. Hey. <laughs> that was fun. We stopped to see Julian and the lady's like, hey, you look familiar. And she like pretended to open a book and she's like, maybe I should page Mr. Morrow. Very cool. Looks like the wait time is 55 minutes, but uh, we have our express pass luckily. So we're gonna be able to kind of skip the line. Oh, here comes the Hogwarts Express in the station. Two. The plan is to get to Diagon Alley and to get a butterbeer, and you're gonna make an ice cream butterbeer float. Yes. A butterbeer float. Mm. That's what I've been dreaming about. All right, we're doing it. <laughs> we're heading in. Thanks. Thank you. Oh. Hello, everyone. Hello. I don't think there's AC on the Hogwarts Express today. <laughs> Ooh. It's hot in there. <laughs> that was a very hot ride on the Hogwarts Express. And uh, they put so many people in there, so it made it even hotter. And now we have made it to King's Cross. Look at that. What a little fun train ride. That butter beer is gonna taste so good. I don't know where we should go get it though. I don't know where they sell ice cream and butter beer together, or should we split up? So we're gonna get a cup of butter beer, and then we're gonna get some butter beer ice cream and make butter beer ice cream floats. But I think we should get the butter beer flirt, the butter beer first, and then go get the ice cream. First stop, butter beer. Here we come. You can get butterbeer in here, you can get fishy green ale in here, you can get wizard's brew, dragon scale, fire whiskey, you can get everything you need. <laughs> Look at that butterbeer just flowing like wine. Or beer. I'm excited. There's the butterbeers. Look at this. Fancy, and we're gonna make butterbeer floats. It kind of looks like a float already though, doesn't it? Makes it a little, even, little fancy. <laughs> we are now officially double fisting it, waiting to get in line because I knew that I would probably get tempted to drink my butterbeer as we wait for the ice cream. So we got drinks to drink in line and that way we don't drink the butterbeer. Yeah, I got the dragon scale, but what did you get? I have no idea. I think you got fire whiskey and strongbow. She just started naming things. She was like, don't get the fireball by itself. And, I was like, and you just said, yeah. <laughs> I was peer pressured. Peer pressured. I, uh, yep. But this is good. It's happening. Oh. And How's that feel? Nice and warm. Nice and warm. <laughs> Here is a look at some of the ice cream uh, flavors they have. We have chocolate chili, apple crumble, salted caramel blonde, they have the Earl Grey and lavender, sticky toffee pudding, chocolate and raspberry, strawberry and peanut butter, pistachio, ooh, toffee apple sounds pretty good. But I think, like I said, we're gonna go just good old butterbeer, butterbeer. Look at that foam on that butterbeer though. Like, cause we haven't drank it, it's like getting diluted. I know. It looks so strange. It's super thick now. Too. Yeah, it's thick. <laughs> so we're gonna get fancy with this and we're gonna get the souvenir ice cream sundae cup with our butterbeer. All right, and that one is mine right there. Perfect, thank you. Look at this fancy thing. Right? All right, now we have obtained the butterbeer ice cream and the butterbeer. It's time to make a butterbeer float. Well, I'll show you, this is how I'm gonna go. I'm gonna take it like this, we have it here, and I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna put some of the foam down. Oh, and then bada boom, bada bing. Look at that. Just like that. And now I can actually a little sip on it. I might take this method. That's overkill. That is so good. Oh wow. And plus we have a whole butter beer to go down after this. I think you put too much topping. I know. Mine mine is thicker than 
than yours. No, nope, maybe, because I don't know why. I don't know why either, but mine is thicker than, than yours. You might have to eat a little off top. <laughs> it can be a little, little messy, though. Oh, that's so good. So hopefully, Look at this. Look at, oh, wow. Really I like this idea a lot. This was all Serena's idea, too. It's actually really good. Yeah, it is really good. One of my panic ideas. <laughs> Playing in bed, panicking. I'm like... <laughs> what do you think about at 3 a.m.? Butterbeer floats. <laughs> <laughs> now it has officially become a martini. I, it actually You know? Is, and you weren't going to get the cup. Mm. I'm happy I peer pressured you into getting the cup. I'm happy I got the cup, too. As we were drinking our butterbeers, Celestina Warbeck came on. Now that we've gotten the butterbeer float business taken care of, it's kind of like a tongue twister, butterbeer float business, doesn't it? Anyway, the butterbeer float was actually a really good idea. It's kind of like a root beer float, but with cream soda and a little bit of butterscotch. I really did like it, it's, it's actually really good, but I wouldn't suggest getting it in these cups. I would suggest getting it in a big cup and like kind of just ordering one scoop of butterbeer, but these were still kind of fancy, so you gotta keep it classy. Now, I think uh, since the wait times are still a little bit high, uh, maybe a friendly competition, maybe a little Men in Black, I feel like that would be fun. I do like these little ice cream glasses though. It's definitely worth the price, but I don't like carrying them around so much. They're very bulky. You really can't fit them in purses, so <laughs> I guess we're just going to carry them around. It does look like a wand or an hourglass. <laughs> Looks like it's a 25 minute wait, but like I said before, we have Express Pass. Look at this. I love coming through here. Have you ever been down there? It's so fun. They have like a special tour. Oh, I feel like Serena is downplaying her ability at this. No, I'm not. I feel like you are. I swear, I'm not good at the game. All right, we'll see. I feel like you think I'm hustling. I really think you are. No, I'm not. We'll see, we'll see. He doesn't believe me. Now I'm gonna be pretty busy competing, but I'm gonna make sure to show you guys the score afterwards. But uh, it's gonna be fun. I, I, I'm excited, and I love being in here too. Oh wait, what happened? You got the bonus. Oh, I didn't even know you had to press a red button for something. Oh, 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 oh! So I, I won. Only because you got a bonus. Oh, okay. I was pressing the red button. I don't know how it happened, but it happened. Oh, what did we get? I can't believe it. Looks like, oh. I feel pretty fancy. I did win. I didn't think I was going to win, but for some reason I hit the red button. I got a bonus. It chose you. Yeah, it chose me. It chose me. It did. Now it's time we make our way over to E.T. Adventure. A trip to Universal Studios wouldn't be complete without coming to E.T. Adventure. I love E.T. so here we are and we have our Express Pass but I don't know if we're going to need it. The mystery, the suspense, the adventure, E.T. I love the smell in here. Oh, it is so cool. We've got some unauthorized people entering the base. Wait, they got ET! Go to Hurry! Rachel, Hunter, Jeremy, Raphael. I got one mouth. 
He said my name. It also looks like we just got done with E.T. in time enough to catch the Mardi Gras parade. It's so funny, I kind of forgot that Mardi Gras was still going on. Ah, that scared me. A competition? See who can get the most beads? Game on. Challenge accepted. Yeah, I'll put my cup down too. It means we're, we're this means business. <laughs> oh no! Oh yes! One! Oh! <laughs> I want to win! <laughs> yeah, we're in a tough spot because we're so far away. I mean, you have to have a strong arm to hit us from here. But this guy looks like he's got a strong arm. I think they're tired. Yeah, right here! Oh, oh, oh! Wait, wait! We both got it! I'll give it to you. No, no, oh, you got it! Yep, you got that one. Yep. We're even now. It, it, it hit, landed in my cup. Does it count? No, it doesn't count. <laughs> it landed in my cup. <laughs> okay, I got a cannon on this one. Right here. Uh oh! <laughs> Last float. You need two beads. This is a big one, though. Serena tried, but they were throwing the beads in my general direction. You were using your left arm and I was using my right. I was trying, that's the strategy of it. He was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> exactly, that's how it went. <laughs> Serena's giving out beads here. Look at that. Making magic. They're gonna fight over those beads. <laughs> and now we are back out to the front of City Walk, and it's starting to rain, and I can't wait to watch the movie. But it's been a fun, amazing day. Like, I had so much fun hanging out at Universal Studios and just doing a lot of fun, different things. I did like the Butterbeer uh, float, I thought that was a really cool idea. So, thanks to Serena for coming up with that. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. It's starting to rain real bad. <sighs> I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye!